As the Buddha said, we react to suffering and pain in two ways. One, we're bewildered. Why is this happening? And two, we look for some help outside. What the Buddha is doing when he teaches the Four Noble Truths, the help outside that he's going to give you is that you've got to look inside. You've got to take responsibility. You know, he's not blaming you for your pains. But he is saying that you don't have to wait until the world outside is perfect. You can train the mind in such a way that even when things are bad outside, the mind doesn't have to suffer. But that means you really do have to be responsible for yourself. When we meditate, we're watching our own minds. Nobody else can watch our mind for us. And because we're operating out of ignorance, we have to be very, very careful. There are ways in which we're simply misinformed. There are other ways in which we're blinding ourselves willfully. You have to watch out for that. You have to watch out for both, basically. But it's the willful ignorance. That's a really difficult one. We go through life and we have to have filters. If our senses didn't have filters, we'd be overwhelmed. We wouldn't know what to do. So we put filters on our eyes, ears, nose, tongue, body, and mind so we can focus on what we think are the important details and put the unimportant details aside. But there are a lot of times when our filters are, are, are skewed. What seemed to work in one instance may not really be working in others. And your idea of what works may be pretty sloppy. So you have to be very careful. Check again and again and again what the mind is doing, what its results are. And try the Buddha's filter. He doesn't say simply go around without any filters on, because again, that would be exposing us to just too much information. But his filter is, where is the craving? Where is the clinging? Look there. What kind of clingings are there? There's clinging to sensuality, in other words, the sensual pleasures you want. Clinging to views, your idea of how the world works. Clinging to habits and practices, your idea of what you should be doing in that world to get what you want. And this clinging to your sense of self. Now all these things have filters. You want to try to put the Buddha's filters on them instead of the ones you've got. That way you can begin to focus on where the real problem is. Why are you clinging to things that are actually causing trouble? This takes a lot of honesty, and you have to be very, very persistent and continuous in your persistence to really see what's going on. Otherwise, you continue to suffer. And your own suffering isn't bad enough. People, when they're suffering, they tend to take it out on others. You've noticed the hummingbirds up at the top of the hill. On the days when the, the feeders go dry, they don't just fly off someplace else. They take it out on one another. If they had any intelligence, they would come and buzz outside the door of the nearest monk or the nearest layperson. Let us know that the food was there, but they don't know. One, they don't know, but two, they're just frustrated. So they take it, their frustration out on the nearest, nearest target. That's a lot of the problems in the world. People don't know how to take care of their own suffering, but they take it out on others. So as you solve the problem of your own suffering, it's not a selfish pursuit. You're much less likely to take your frustration out on others because there's nothing to be frustrated about. So look into this. Be very careful and as you check your filters. Because sometimes you're filtering out things that are really worth knowing. Think about the computer program that ran the program, analyzing the data that came from the satellites that were sending back information that there was an ozone hole over Antarctica. And the program was designed to throw out that information because the programmers had decided that that was impossible. So the information was coming in for years. It wasn't until someone checked the program and said, oh, we've got the wrong filter here. 
that they were able to get the data and do something about it. So keep checking your filters. And try the Buddhist filters to see if they get you to do things that are a lot better for you and better for the people around you.